In this video, we will go through the whole process of importing orders up to processing them. Let's explain some basic concepts first. When importing an order, you should either have them created in your WMS so TechShip can retrieve information from there, or you can have a file with your orders which you can import. TechShip does not change the received information, so whatever information you have for either case will be loaded as is. TechShip will always create a batch for each import regardless of the order count on that batch. It could be a batch with just one order, or with many more. To begin importing, you will have to First, access Import Orders under the Orders dropdown. After doing so, you will have to choose for which carrier you want to import the orders. You can choose an explicit carrier from the list, but you have two additional options. Import, which instead of forcing a carrier on the order, will use the carrier associated to it previously on your WMS or file. And rate shopping, that instead of forcing a carrier on the order, TechShip will evaluate which carrier and service level is more cost efficient and assign them automatically to each order depending on the case. This requires that rate shopping is enabled for your carriers. Once a carrier has been chosen, you will have to choose the criteria to obtain the orders. To do so, Pick an option from the criteria dropdown and enter the value in the text field aside. You can choose between batch number, which obtains the orders from the WMS matching with the batch number you enter, reference number, which obtains a single order from the WMS matching with the number you enter. Depending on your WMS, it's most of the time the customer order number. Then pick order number, which obtains a single order from the WMS matching with the number you enter depending on your WMS, is most of the time the WMS transaction number. And finally, File Upload, which allows you to upload a file with the orders instead of obtaining them from the WMS. Once you have chosen the origin of your information, if you want to review your order before importing, you can press Refresh to retrieve the information and make modifications, or press Fast Import to import the batch directly. In this case, we will choose a specific carrier, upload from a file, and fast import. Once in the batch, TechShip will show the batch's number in the address bar and the general information in the window. The order list for the batch will be below. To process, you have two options. Process, which processes the batch, verifying that there are no errors and generating the tracking numbers for each box in the order, and process and print, which processes the orders and prints the labels automatically as well. In this case, we will process only. If there is any missing or incorrect information, TechShip will mark the incorrect orders as errors and indicate what's missing. In this case, TechShip is indicating that we're missing the service level, so we will set it up at a batch level. Save and process again. If TechShip indicates that there are more errors, you will have to solve them before processing. In this case, we'll adjust Process. If the orders are processed correctly, the system will show the tracking numbers, charge, manifest ID, and the date and time of processing. If instead we would have chosen Process and Print, the labels will be printing as well. We have more videos relating to orders and labels management at our knowledge base. Make sure you don't miss them. Thanks for watching and enjoy your TechShip experience.